check my wanted list we have big trouble uh, buy all see what we can do there we go two orders placed and we're here what's my uh, the store I buy the most from opens up again and I get maybe 50 off of here I'm gonna delete the whole wanted list um, again so I don't have that much stuff in my waiting for parts but actually I, mean, I, I take that back I do have quite a bit of stuff but it just gets where I'm adding things that I don't really need. I think I might need. And then I get them or find them and I don't actually need them anymore. So we'll do it again. It only took me like half an hour to add all the stuff back. But once I delete it. Alright I got six pairs ready to go. Um, these are ones that are pairs. But they're not separated right and left yet. Um, so I'll take that one too. Because there's not going to be very many. Um, so here's some basketball player arms I received. I don't know if I'm going to put those for sale though. I'll have to see if I, if I might have some torsos I could use them on. Um, or I may just keep them. See I have one in there. I'll have to check that out. Um, but here's some one-offs I'll just put in separate drawers. Uh, so I'm going to move this out of the way and get some drawers set up here and I'll show you how I'm going to store these for when they go for sale. How I do it. How it's easy. Um, you know, you could put them all, every pair in a little tiny bag, so there's no, that's the for sure way you won't mess up if you gave two rights or two lefts in a pair, uh, but this way I do it, I've had luck with it so far, because um, I do it quite often when I get a lot of the same minifigs when they're new, from new sets, and I, sometimes I'll part out some arms and hands, uh, I'll show you here in a minute. There we go, these two did not have any arms, I was able to complete these two. I'm not going to try to complete the figures, but I will part this out, the legs and the torso now. And these are the hands that I'll put on the brick link. I did save a couple pairs of each color. I only had one of that one. Uh, but all my, all my real NBA ones are completed. So most of these other ones are. Put some yellow ones on. Alright, here's the armor of the Dino Tracker. Is it Series 11, 12? Not exactly 100% sure, but either way, there's 16 pairs here. There's I have the right on one side, the left on the other. So I'm going to take like all the lefts, put them in this spot of this bin, and then all the rights are going to go on the front of the bin. And I typically, in the middle, and I whoops, part out uh, torsos. I usually put the torsos with no arms and anything here. But I don't. That's not. I'm doing. I'm not doing that right now. So, uh, where does this one go? This one goes here. Um, so I do have some other ones. I'm going to try not to have anything that looks the same as these. But I probably won't put too many in the middle because um, I mean each pair is going to have this whole drawer and use it that way instead of using plastic bags, which is fine. I have drawers to use right now. In the future, I might do something different, like using those little bins. Um, so in the future, I will be labeling these to continue use case number seven, eight, whatever, and so on. And they have little, um, really small, I don't, know, I don't have any of these ones. I could use, I could use these like how they are here. They just kind of even put a label of a number here to help find it faster. All right, in this situation, I have no issue. So I have two pairs of these and one extra here. So I have no issue doing that. Doing that and when they sell. I mean, I know it's in this drawer somewhere. Obviously, I wouldn't put the same kind of colors that are going to get confusing as best as I can. Um, all these things in the middle are not pairs; they're just single ones that are for sale. So I know that. Just don't want this thing moving; it can mess up my drawer and be a pain. But it's not a big deal if it does. So I'll probably put like three, four different kinds in each left and right. I don't want it too full where it's taking up too much space, but. Uh, obviously like this one here is the most I have that'll have its own. I wouldn't put anything else with that one All right, this will be the last one of the day the snake from the Simpsons guy So I'm gonna do these are rows of 10 20 30 40 pairs and then the rest I'm just gonna do singles. I don't see any I mean really I should maybe do 20 pairs But ultimately they'll sell eventually uh, I just gotta have a lower price probably on these ones because this I don't know 
is the best, but these, you know, this side is obviously good. This sleeve. Well, I don't understand that. They don't pair them up for some reason. Oh well. I guess I'll just list them separate. Not a big deal. People are selling these. Let's see. In America, this sleeve. The left hand side, one person has one for a quarter. So I'll have 40 for sure, and then whatever else is in this pile. See, I knew with some of this stuff I would be leading the markets here. I have 60. There's only two other people, not even in America, that have it. Nowhere near the quantity. So that's that's a good enough price for me. Uh, I mean, I paid so, so little for these. I mean, I gotta sell them. I want to sell them. So <laughs> The last pair of the day I had exactly 10 of each side, which is weird. To the This is a video game player, the original video game guy. 97 cents on average, so... There's not very many for sale. Well, actually, someone has 192 in China. <laughs> um, America, $1.88 is the cheapest right now. Actually, I'm sorry. 14 new, 50 cents, Southern Indiana, something. I'm not sure where that came from, but they have. Here's the uh, end of my workday Tuesday. Where we're at, see how high we can get up at the end of the week here. And then uh, <laughs> I just realized when I put these away, I kind of realized it before, but I have just one left that does not number. And when I talk about this wall, the used wall, there is so much space in a lot of these drawers. I have not taken the time to go through them. Look at like this has just that, which I can pull, put a bunch more in it. I have not been parting out used sets very often. I just filled this up last week with these hats. Um, I mean, there's so much space. So. I, I, don't know, I look at this, I'm like, oh no, there's not much uh, left, but there actually is. Oh, I gotta get these. The Kylo Ren's and then the Whomping Willow minifigs. <laughs> I gotta do those tomorrow. Uh, but I'll number a few, just for the, just for the hands and the, ar or the arms, I mean. But I'll probably get, you know, to there. So there's, I don't really want to mingle it with a bunch of stuff. I guess it probably would actually be okay. Put it between put both of the big stuff in the middle because prepares at least how, how I just showed how I'm doing it so like this one doesn't have anything yet but like these I could I could probably take some that don't, don't have much in there and just be like hey put the other stuff in the middle well, I got one piece of mail today I might as well go through it before I head up I just just got it before I was leaving here so I got it's like one carpenter head one spirus chief head and then 27 solid stud heads that I use a lot for the old stuff so that look pretty good and then I got some torsos and that my friends is a $30 order because $17 is worth these heads so 64 cents each but they all look really good for the most part I'll definitely make sure they are before I put them away all right it is uh, what Tuesday night eight o'clock I've been down here for just over an hour got everything packed up this is the last order and there's a note here it says uh, enjoy your YouTube content keep up the great work thank you so much for the order it is uh, there's a lot of parts in here 502 and 39 lots and this is their second order in our store and they think they have no feedback I probably have to leave, leave them feedback. I, I do feedback like once a week. So if you ever buy from me and you, you leave me feedback, I will definitely leave you feedback as well. It just takes me a few days to get to it. I know some stores do it up front, but I like to do it after I know the order is complete. So that's, that's how I feel on it. So there's the order. Lots, lots of quantity there. All right, it's Wednesday. January 6th. Did I mention I'm gonna stop recording this Friday? The what is it? I don't even have a January calendar up yet. Uh, January 8th. I'm gonna take a few weeks off here. Anyway, 11 on eBay. Very slow, but good. Bricklink. I have everything packed up except these top two. I'm not going to pack up the pending one. It has not been paid. It was 36 lots. But I pack up the 25. But everything else has been packed up. 
And on Brickall we have three. I have to pack up the top two. So then I'm going to upload a, a set this morning. All right. There it is. We got 30 minutes to get Lloyd's journey to its final, well, in its holding pattern, not its final destination. We are splitting this thing up all across the country, possibly the world. All right, we got the 12 sets we had loaded. I did add seven. Oh, I meant to add seven wolves. I'll go back. Um, I'm going to do five on eBay with Lloyd. That's a lot. So, and these guys are going to be <clears throat> mostly complete figures on Bricklink and some part of I think I have a lot of these parts already, though. So I might just do most seven, probably seven complete on Bricklink and five part out. A couple to my convention, probably. There, yeah, that's more like it. I think I got most of these for $12, a couple for nine, I think, the clearance. Um, so either way, pretty good part out with this. Is no mini figs, just seven of those. So 919 parts uploaded before the day starts. There it goes. And I did not get very many new parts. That one, 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 some great ones. That one, those, that's it. <laughs> There wasn't very many lots in it anyway. But more parts to the store. Alright, we're making it real. We have two gold charts, a savings plan and a payoff debt plan. And uh, so I'm printing out two of these for the kids to fill out as every every month when I make stuff or save stuff. Bring on the goals. Alright, so this Lloyd it got 12 of them. Five is going to eBay with the wolf. Three are going complete figs to Bricklink. These two are going to my convention bin. Which I house under here as I get stuff. And then two are going to be parted out. And this guy, we got six complete. These three are going down below in the depths. And I parted out three. Those are the new parts in the store. I already have these in here. Who are these people? They say they have 138,000 lots. Like literally everything I look up, they have it for sale. I don't have very good feedback. 13 complaints lately, 51 complaints in total, whoa. Not in stock, so what are they doing? This must be a drop shipper, I bet. They're just trying to put a ton of stuff for sale and try to get it shipped from other places. I have no idea what they're doing because their prices are just ridiculously high. Like, unbelievable high. <laughs> oh. So this guy... I mean, I don't know. Do they have these people? I don't know. It's weird. Alright, so Whomping Willow time. Last is my last of the new figs I gotta put for sale. I'm going to lunch. Um, so I'm gonna put one of each character in my convention stuff, I think. I may do more Snapes, Professor Snape, or Snipe, whatever, Snape, because I already have five of him for sale, because I have him in that little, he came in the DK books I got a bunch of before, so I have a bunch of him already, so parting out and putting other places I will, none of these I'm going to put on eBay, I don't think, I don't know, I'm going to look up this guy with this hair, because, put him with a lantern maybe, I'll see if it's worth it. Possibly could be. He just looked like a, a real creepy old man, which he is in the movie, so I guess. <laughs> anyway, we'll get these going. Yeah, I say his place is on eBay. Looks like people are selling them for generally a lot, so. Um, so I just sold the old version for not too much, and he was for sale forever. So I don't think I'd put him again for sale. Actually, I ripped up the card and threw it away. <laughs> so I'm like, if I ever get him again, I'll go right on to. Uh, Bricklink, because I've, I've said that about the um, Harry Potter characters lately. A lot of the older ones I'm just going to put right to Bricklink now on, from now on, because they just sit on eBay for a long time. They do sell, but it just takes forever. Oh, here's a whole set of them for 30 bucks. So, you'll definitely be going to eBay. So I actually sold out of these um, on eBay. So I went to my listing, so I have zero available. <clears throat> I can relist it, right? I have this picture in here. I don't have these, so I'm going to delete the last picture. 
and I'm going to delete this note. Oh, I'll change a note new taken direct from new set and delete the comes in plastic case from book with accessories pictured. Um, so yeah, so I can just, I'm all seven of these, I'm going to do that because these sell very well. Alright, one piece of mail today from them. They will be poor if they continue to raise prices. At least they won't get my money. Don't follow the lead of other Brickling stores that do that. But anyway, um, got some, found some stuff that was still decently priced. And uh, those hands are not right. Yellow hands for Captain America. Um, this is a relatively new store that I can tell does not know a lot about Lego, but they know enough. Uh, probably like me, I mean, when I started, I didn't know anything other than the sets my son had. Um, and I learned it all, so <laughs> it just takes mm. hours and hours of, or every day immersed in it, and you learn. Uh, you figure things out, um, and you remember. So anyway, here's this order. I'm going to do this and try to get all this, what I need, put together out of my waiting for parts stuff, which is, it is getting big. I said that the other day, I don't think there's much in there, but it is, it's, see, the things stick up like, like that, it means run out of room. I, before I had to go another one of these or another row I had, like one of those I used for another row at one point for Disney Star Wars, which is right there. And uh, here we go. You can tell they're following a lead of another store. The bag everything separately. So I downloaded the report of all of 2020. Uh, and this is the total I spent on Bricklink. <laughs> I think that's with shipping and everything. I don't 100% know if that is. I haven't really looked into it. This is all USA stuff. Um, Swedish Krona, Russian rubles, which is probably not much when you look at that. Euros, that is Polish, Norwegian, I guess that's another Euro, Euro. I don't know why there's two separate ones. Oh, one's, oh that's pound, sterling. And then can, Danish, the Czech Koruna, Canadian dollar, and Australian dollar. <laughs> so, um, hmm, it's wild. That's Canadian, so you're probably looking around maybe thirty thousand dollars. I don't know. Oh, euros. That's that's a lot of money there. So that's over five thousand U.S. So we're looking at like in upwards of thirty-five thousand. I spent on Bricklink. I'm hoping my goal for this year is to cut that in half. I hope to spend no more than twenty thousand, roughly. But we'll see. Well, a good indicator this was not even examined is the yellow hands. And we have a crack. And I paid three dollars for it. All right, so I got this, all these mini figs completed. This was, yeah, I got these in there. One, one of them, I found this head. I realized I had this head as I was digging through looking for other things. So that it wasn't part of this order, but the rest were part of this order. These crazy Americans, I say, they're smashing windows and trying to break into a Capitol building. Ooh, wild. It is almost the exact these maniacs. tone and tenor that you normally expect. And remember, what was, was supposed to be happening today uh, <laughs> Alright, here's the final on this little set. It was that. Yeah, I'm going to check my lots before I... 10,439 lots I have right now. And we're going to upload. So there's... Uh, most of those are all from the set, and then some bigger stuff got thrown in there. So then we uh, see if it uploaded yet on this screen here. 10, 10, 439. No, 10, 439. If I go to the bottom, it's probably updated. That, that one seems to be very accurate, like right away. 10, 533. So, so 533 almost added 100 new lots just from that set. It's crazy. All right, two of the frozen chambers are gone. And uh, I work a little extra time today because I got distracted by all that craziness on the TV. Uh, there we go, wow. So that is a nice upload. I already had a lot in the store. I'm not sure what it will be this time as far as uh, 
adding a lot. So let me just pull up on this window here before I hit upload. All right, we upload it. That's where we were before I hit the upload. Is it gonna go fast this time? Let's find out. Will it show it up here? No. Let's go down. Boom. 10,596. We added 63 lots from that one. So I gotta sync up the stores and get out of here. I really want to get to some of this stuff. Oh, somebody asked me about the soccer bus. I gotta find out who that was. And uh, they wanted to buy it. And it's pretty much complete. I'm not gonna try to complete it because the figures aren't all there. But anyway. I might just go through all this stuff. I have the problem is I got priorities. As you know, I was adding some of these just yesterday. Never got to them today. Day's over. But I will definitely finish that tomorrow and probably start on this. <laughs> There's thousands of parts in here. And I have more hands than I have, not arms. I'm gonna have more in other bags that's not sorted, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna get all these uploaded as much as possible. And I was able to, uh, last night, sort out the fighting weapons, like the swords and stuff. So these have all been sorted, spears and some stuff. This is like a random of random things that I've had in all of that. So we'll be able to get some of this stuff up. And I, actually, I'll put some of this away and keep some of it, actually, because I use a lot of it on eBay. So, All right, it's Thursday, last day of filming. For a couple weeks or so. We'll see. 13 items on eBay. Bricklink we have. So that one was from yesterday they paid. That's packed up in a medium flat rate box. And so we have these ones. And nothing big. 13. That's not even paid. I might have to pack it up. I'm not sure. So we don't have much to do. This is the second time this week that someone contacted me. They got the order and it was missing one item. The first time they bought two of those Sawyer and Ninjago figures and I only put in one. And this time they bought two of these and I only put in one. It's the one thing I miss more than anything is just putting a more than one quantity of minifigs. When I get a minifig I just think, oh grab one minifig. It's just something I gotta, in my mind, know check the quantity on the minifigs because that's what I usually mess up the quantity on. Not often. Um, it's been twice this week I've been notified that hey send the other one so that's what I'm doing here. Well here's the winning part of the day. This one right there comes to a used part $3.96. Boom all the mail is ready to go. 6.35. So, last night I did photograph all of this stuff, so I'm going to get to it immediately, and then I'll rebuild this from yesterday and today. There hasn't been very much, so we'll start pile the eBay, and then from there, get back onto these. I'll at least finish these ones. That's another story. Maybe I'll do a few. Um... I might be better off doing accessories in here. Or, what I've been wanting to do is just grab a bag and go through it. I'll probably do that. Just checking the price on eBay for what people are asking for this right now and nobody has one for sale. So, I think the last time I sold them for about 25, so it's probably gonna have to go up from there. Correction, I found one. <laughs> last one. See, sometimes these prices can be deceiving. You just go to the sold and see, see it sold for $39 last time. So even though they want that, they probably hired it once it sold for $39. They only have one left. I don't know. So I have a couple more torsos. So there's one US there for legs and then two more US. And there's that wild store. Anyway, so I'm going to buy all three of those. Alright, I'm starting a actual spreadsheet that I have after I buy stuff. I'm just going to put it in here. Um, you know, office supply inventory. And then um, 
at the end of the month on PayPal, shipping it should only be like 20 some days I have to look at to add them all up for pay, for, for BrickLink and Brick Isle combined. So I do I print shipping once a day, all the it's, all, it's like one transaction, so it shouldn't be too too difficult when I do my uh, monthly reviews. So here's where we're at. I just got to do a total uh, formula on this side over here, and it'll help me keep track throughout the month. Like, okay, I think I spent enough, or you know, whatever. All right, got all the photographed ones listed, and I probably can rebuild maybe like, maybe ten more. So add ten to that for the day. Um. So there we go, where we stand, almost lunch. All right, back to the arms. I got all those, I have 30 pairs of those. Going to the Elven Girl from Series 17 now, and then got some hippie ones. That's from the vet, vet veterinarian. That's from the gourmet chef. That's from the frightening, frightening night. That's from the mime, I think. And those, I'm not sure, they're just white sleeves. All right, we did it. So this is what it looks like. All the middle things are just single side hands, arms I mean, that usually don't match up to what's in these two. So I can put more than one. So these are the right, left side, left side, right side, something like that. Um, and so on and so forth. So. All right, I'm gonna proceed to clean this up. See what I can do with some of this stuff. I just think it's cool. Unique stuff I don't have in my store. Look at that. How do I find that? I need that Instabrick thing to find that thing. It's pretty. It's mesmerizing. Look at that. Alright, so where do you start with this? The first thing I'm going to do, because I pulled these all from the same thing. This was probably two years ago, I want to say. I'm pretty sure this is Mission Tomorrow, so I don't think this is going to have anything to do with any of this stuff. But I know I know how to find this backpack by putting in Blacktron backpack, which I already did. So if I back it up, I'll show you. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Blacktron jetpack is all I searched, and it comes up. So I go to the one, and then I click on the part. Go to it's on three minifigs, or you go to sets. But this is uh, this is the minifig I have over here. So I'm gonna click on that information. It's only in one set. And look at this. I may have that complete set, and I don't know if it'd be worth to. Uh, sell it complete or part it out. That's what we're gonna do next. Well, the decision was made for me because the top uh, computer thing that's a sticker in there is not here. I, I pro it probably was here originally, but I and I don't have it. I'm not gonna go and buy it and wait for it. I mean, there's quite a few for sale actually, a number of them. But if we select part out used, we'll see if there's any. Whoops. Any reason we would want to get that part. I know some of these parts are missing. We're just going to delete that, have the minifig. So it parts out to nine bucks. So I'm not going to take the time because it typically sells for that. You know, minus those couple parts. So nine bucks used. So part out. All right, looks like we have Spaceport Jet here. Um, price guide, I guess, eight bucks. It's got 55 parts, one minifig. It's got some stickers. I think I have all the parts with the stickers. I don't know what else is there. Uh, let's just go down to the bottom. What oh, says those two? I think those are here. I think one that's part pretty bad. It's peeling off. Either way, we will part out this one. I'm not wanting to try to complete it is you know I realized because why do I part out sets where I could make a few extra bucks on them because it the more parts you have the more lots the more it'll draw in other people to come buy other stuff so that is my goal which is always done in these videos is put as many lots as you can for sale and then keep keep doing that that's what I do all right here's that spaceport jet pretty much everything was there except um there's only two of these wheel things. I didn't, I'm adding these separate because I have to part them out. I already added one of those and I realized there's another one. So these are like 20 cents each, five cents, 10 cents. So got that. Um, these are all left over from both of them. So still working through it. See what else we can find. Oh, I still have this. This is probably a, another small set I would imagine. But we will, yeah, I'll have to try to find that guy. See what we can find. I found another one. So far, I've just gathered up, see what else I can find. And here's this one. It's 
Tom Link Cruiser, so that's 6453. So, we'll part out these two, see what we have left. So I think this is the last I'm going to get out of this thing. Got this double hover. Um, after that, though, I am going to look up this guy, and that'll probably be it, because that's the last minifig I have. I guess I'll put this back up. Um, but there's not too many parts to this set. There might be a few more in here that I'm going to find, but not much. Yeah, we're really, really stretching it here. I did put a minifig up for two bucks, one of the aliens, but yeah, it's a lot. So how do you look this guy up? Just type in assistant. He's the top one. And uh, I actually have this set. See, he's this LOM assistant. And he only comes in two sets, apparently. This rover has three different entries. Oddly enough, I don't know why. It just has different set numbers. It has all the same parts in the mini same minifig, so don't know why apparently it's could be rare that's sold for 14 bucks see that's weird and this one sells for five so maybe maybe that one had a box with it but <clears throat> either way I think I have pretty much all of it here there's not much to it so I will maybe I'll put that as a complete set if I can all right so that little set 384 let's see what we have left this whole bag, quite a few, bit of, quite a, quite a bit of things. I'm gonna put that up. I'll save that, put that away. See that? I'll probably put that up. I don't know. It could be expensive. I don't know. And then the rest, maybe I'll do these. Um, the rest will just go in my bulk sorting stuff. Like these are all old gray stuff, so it's good to have on hand, I guess. Is that the same? No, it's different. Okay. I'm out of breath doing pull-ups. Maybe I'll put those up. They're old gray. Why not? Why not just put all this old gray real quick? Get as much as you can out of it. Does this have a number in it? No. And I don't know how to look it up. Unfortunately. That has a number. So, that's it. I think it's about over 30 bucks I got from this. Let's go there. So, and it added a lot of old gray. It is kind of less... It's slow going, to, you know, and it's not much value you gotta do store, but adding those lots is more, it can be just as valuable as adding 50 bucks worth of parts in the end. All right, my next step is to clear this out. Um, I don't know if there's hardly gonna be hardly anything that I'm actually gonna put for sale out of this. Maybe a few things, but like all these hairs, I'll put this in the Thor, this in the Lego movie bin, this in the Joker bin, and then the female hairs, I, don't know, I might put this for sale. That's a nice one. And, you know, put the friends ones in the friends. Put the rest in. Yeah, these are all going to go just like this. In there. And it looks like there's an Obi Wan Kenobi hair in there. And the rest of those are just going to go in the mail hair. So this should be pretty quick, maybe less than 10 minutes and then I'll move on to maybe that. Well, those used uh, little sets I did definitely dr drove up my uh, lot count. Um, I had a $250 order this morning, so my numbers did go down, which is which is good. I'm at 213 now. Um, so I've been uploading a lot. Well, my favorite store opened up again. And we placed an order. It's like 38 parts I took off my list, so... We are doing good, and I don't think I'm left to delete it. If it gets over 250, again, uh, if it's over that by the end of the month, I'm gonna delete it. That's my, that's what I, maybe, we'll see. We'll see how my, it really depends on how, how this is looking. Um, if there's not too many in there after I get these orders that I place, because there's so many orders I have pending that I've not, I've not received a couple from Europe from November, actually, that I need to, you know, look into opening a uh, PayPal thing because before 60 days, I think you have to do it. And just leave it open while I wait for it because, um, yeah, it's not here. Got one piece of mail today, which showed these maybe in the previous vlog or earlier in this one. Got four of these. I think it was like 27 bucks total shipped out the door for four of them. It's like a listing of two for like, I don't know, something. Maybe it's free shipping. I don't know, but it was a really good deal. And I'm in, these are all in great shape. Like, man, 
I think I'm going to keep them like this because I do have two for sale on my eBay store right now. And in the future, if I ever want to sell more, I have this. And then somebody parted some stuff out for me today. It was that set that was on sale for at Target with this Ray and the Jet Pack Trooper or something. Uh, I'll show you something later maybe, but I'll probably won't add these tonight. I have a big order to pack up and a couple more. Probably save these till Saturday morning. I'll do my one weekend part out. All right, I started on this uh, this order. Three, it's 323. It just started at like 321. And this is the huge order. I'm just going to get as much done as I can. Uh, they did put a, given the size of the order, may pieces be separated by part. Thanks. I don't know what talking about I'm not separating every part in its own bag no but um, I don't have I don't have anything in my terms about how we pack things and I thought about it it just doesn't come up very often um, I don't know what they're talking about I'm not gonna put 50 of one part and then you know 20 and 30 of another in a bag I'm gonna make sure it's really easy to separate because most of these are like grab the door grab the door grab the drawer and dump them out <laughs> 355 like there's no way that I'm going to put this one piece in a separate bag. I will find a piece that's similar, like a slope to it, and put it with that, though. That's that's kind of how I pack orders. I try to put parts that are similar together. Uh, here's three, 55, that's all 10. One, two, three, four, just 10 in there. This is this is the trick when you have one hand, you got to cover the rest. They don't fall out. And the drawer goes in backwards, so don't tell me that I have an open spot. And then 359. I could do this. I can do this more often. This is fun to talk and do it. See, like, this is obviously the part to this, so that's going together. That's from the same minifig, actually. 388.17. So I'm going to get moving on this. Probably get half of it done and then finish the rest later. There's a prize possession. So that's it for now. All right, we got all the new stuff done. Lots of stuff here. It's going. It is 4.41 p.m. It started at 3.21. I had a, I took a quick break for a moment, but it is done. It's a large flat rate box. I think it's gonna fit. I gotta move some things around and hope it fits. All right, we have this order here. It's uh, almost eight at night on Thursday. Just got back down here, pulled one other order of 50 lots just now. So we're gonna do this 43 lot order. And it starts with drawer number eight. We're gonna, we're gonna stop watching this bad boy. Because I'm just going to fly because I want to get out of here. So, we start. Number eight. They're in the, All right, we're on the last part. 319. It's going to be in here. There, it's in the back. Boom. Uh, stop. Six and a half minutes. To pull 43 lots. So... It's only 97, so average of two, two lots, or two items per lot. It was a very low cost order, 1237, plus they paid shipping. So there it is, just mostly parts. So I'm out of here.